Hello everyone. In this session, we will learn how to create your first test case for web application without writing any code using Catalan Studio. So Catalan is a, is a studio is a tool which helps you to record your test cases and then play back your test cases without writing any code. So it does have the option to write code in Java and Groovy using script mode. But if you are a new tester and finding difficulty in, in writing code or learning coding, then you can definitely start with Catalan Studio. And then later on, once you become good and understand the automation concept and go through the skip mode of Catalan Studio, you can move towards the uh, other tools, other open source tools like Selenium. Okay, so uh, this is what after downloading the Catalan Studio, I'm using version 7.8.1. I will leave the link in the comments. Uh, so uh, this is what it looks like when you open it the, for the first time. You, you have here creating a new project or opening a project, or if you want, you can clone a Git project also. And these are some best practices and tutorials. So how to create uh, your project. So you can either click on this or in file, you can click on new and then click on project. So now Catalan Studio allows you to write automation tests for web, API, mobile, desktop, or even generic. So based on your requirement, you can select and create your project. So for this demo, I'm going to use web one. So I'm named, I will name this project as my first web or test automacy project. Other things you can leave add as it is and click on okay. So now it is preparing your project for the first time. And uh, once this is done, you can see how it looks like in Catalan Studio. So here, now we no longer need the start page. So we can definitely close this. Here you can, you have the tutorials link. You can definitely close this. And this is the main part. This, this looks like a project structure. So here in test cases, you will actually write your test cases. In object repository, you will be storing your page objects like XPath or element IDs or based on whatever element XPath you find on your web page. And test suits, if you want to add your test cases in test suit, you can have it here, data files, if you are using any data files, etc. So now, uh, so these are all the structure format. Other structure is actually part of the, uh, some of the other external keywords, etc. We will see that in the next upcoming demos. So here the main thing is the spy and record. So spy is basically to find elements and, and using that particular thing, you can spy on elements and get the elements ID, XPath, et cetera. But the main thing is here is record. So now let's say I want to record a test case for test automacy. Let's say I want to log in. I want to record the login test case. So I will put this website, as you can see here, you can select the browser. Uh, so I started with Chrome, but if you want, you can select other browser also. I will show you this demo when we run this test case. So now, as you can see, recording has been started. So it has opened the browser now navigate it to this URL. So this is what I'm saying. So uh, either you can add your steps, test steps here manually in this window or you can actually do all these things here so now let's say for logging i have to click on this particular link right so i will select this so automatically it has added a step click login in register now i'm on a login page now i will add the credential and the password now, as you can see, password is not in plain text. If you are, if you are, if you're coming from Selenium background, you would see this is not possible in there. You have to write the password in this particular, like plain text here. It is automatically encrypting the password also. Now, once that is done, I'll click on login and you can see everything which you are doing in this browser is actually recorded here, right? And now let's say I want to verify this item. Right. And that's it. Uh, now I will log out. 
right? So this is my login and log out test case. Uh, now I will close this particular browser and save script. Okay. And now here you can see if you want, you can add your object repository folder, like naming, etc. I'm right now adding is a, in a default folder, object repository folder. So now I will leave this. This is my verify login test case. And if you, if I want, I can tag this also. Once that is done, as you can see, the test case has been saved in the test case section. And it is actually creating all those things. Now, as you can see, we visited home page, we visited profile page, right? So in profile page, the elements was sign out, button login, username, password, username, email, and the strong full stack demo, right? Similarly on home page, we had login and register. So all these elements. So if you, if you click on this, you could see that this is, this is the X path of this particular element. If you want, you can choose the other X path. Also, the, this has X path like relative X paths, uh, normalized X paths, etc. So, if you want, you can choose X path based on your requirement. Also, and if you if you want, you can also write your own custom X path here. So, we are not talking about this. We we are seeing that everything you can do without writing it code. So, right now, I haven't touched any code, right? So now the point here is when I visit this test case, I can see the, all the steps are here, right? So, uh, in, in Catalan studio, I, either you can write script here in Java or groovy, right? All the action, which I did is actually converted into a code. So if you don't, uh, uh, want to like play with code, you can go to the manual section. We already recorded the test case. There's one thing which is missing. We don't want to click on this element. We want to check whether this element is present or not, right? We want to verify that uh, the value full stack demo in strong is present or not. So we also have assertion or validation here. So you have to just check this and write to verify and you would see a lot of option, right? And now I would, I can say element is element present, right? verify element present and uh, as soon as i do that it actually i have to select this one okay and then that's it like now it will open the browser then navigate to this url click on login register set text set text on username set text on password click on login button verify that after login the the value sorry the value full stack demo username value is actually present with in with capital letters, uh, sorry, blow bold letters, and then click sign out and then close the browser. So we have actually completed the login scenario. Now let's now actually run this, right? So to, to run this, you just have to uh, select the test case and then use this option. Now, as I told you before that you can run this on various browsers. So you can, you don't have to like change or write different code. You, once it is actually recorded on Chrome, you can run it on Firefox, IE, whatever you want. So let's try to run this on Chrome by default and see if we have automated this test case without writing any code or not. Okay, so now the script has been saved. It's actually running. Okay, so it has launched the browser. It actually visiting the page, test automacy homepage. Now it, it will actually click on login and register link. Yes. And now it will set text, username and password and click on logging. And it will check whether the full stack demo is present in strong or bold letters or not. Now click on sign out and that's it. As you can see, the run one test passed. And we have actually automated our web application test case, login test case, login and logout test case without actually writing a single line of code. This is fantastic, isn't it? So I hope you like this demo. See you in the next demo.